We're going to do a perfect competition problem. We can solve for the range of prices that the firm earns positive profit when the firm has the following cost function. So some background. Positive profit will occur when the price exceeds average cost. Price is greater than average cost. The firm will be making positive economic profit. When price equals average cost, economic profit is zero. And finally, profit is negative if price is less than average cost. In perfect competition, the firm produces where price equals marginal cost or marginal revenue equals marginal cost. That is a profit maximizing condition where the price is determined in the marketplace. So here's our cost function. And we're going to get average cost. So we're going to divide the cost function by output or Q. So dividing every component of the cost function by Q, we end up with 9 divided by Q plus Q divided by 100. So that is a firm's cost per unit, average cost. So just rewriting that. And now we want to solve for the minimum point on the average cost curve. This point occurs when the slope of average cost is 0. So when we're dealing with a U-shaped cost curve like we are in this case, the slope will be zero at the minimum point because the tangent line at the bottom of the U is horizontal, and a horizontal line has a zero slope. So we can write the average cost equation like this, move this Q up into the nu uh, numerator following the rules of exponents, and so we can take the derivative without using the quotient rule. So we can take the derivative of average cost because a derivative is a slope function. And we're going to set that slope function equal to 0 and solve for Q. So we're trying to find where the level of output corresponds with the, the bottom of the U on this U-shaped cost curve. And again, that's where the slope is 0. It's a tangent line that is horizontal at that point. So taking the derivative, bring down this minus 1 in front of the 9. So we got minus 9. Then we subtract 1 from the exponent. And then Q divided by 100 is just 1 over 100. So this is a derivative is a slope. So now we're going to find where the slope is 0. So we set the derivative equal to 0. And we're going to solve for Q. So just rewriting that last result. Moving some things around. Bringing this Q to the minus second power down into the denominator multiplying both sides through by this q squared, and then multiplying both sides through by 100. And now we are going to take the square root of both sides or raise both sides to the 1 half power. We do that to get rid of the q squared to just leave us with q. And so we're left with q equals 30. And now we're going to plug this 30 back into our average cost equation. And we see average cost at its minimum point when the slope of average cost is zero occurs at 60 cents when average cost is 60 cents per unit. So positive profit will occur anytime price exceeds the minimum point of the average cost curve. Zero economic profit will occur where the price equals 60 cents or the minimum point on the average cost curve. And finally, the firm will be making negative profit if the price is below the minimum point of the average cost curve. And just remember the price here in this perfectly competitive market is determined by market supply and market demand. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.